So I finally got around to installing Bado Sarah on one of these mini PCs and I decided no better system to use than the boss game U32. The reason I decided to go with this one was mostly due to the fact that one, I really wanted to see what Bado Sarah could do with a really low end system. And honestly, I didn't know really what else to do with this system since it's so low end, Windows is just really heavy on it. So I figure using Linux for emulation would be the perfect scenario to really see what this is capable of. Now the whole installation process for Bado Sarah was extremely easy and once I got in here I could see the very nice interface for it. So to test the system out I decided to load up a few GameCube ROMs onto here and I decided to play a little bit of Double Dash on the system. I was pretty impressed with the fact that it was able to play it perfectly fine at 60 frames per second at the game's native resolution. Admittedly not really a heavy task by modern standards, but considering how low end the system was, I was pretty much impressed to see this result. So after being so impressed by how it was running at native, I decided to actually boost the resolution all the way up to 10. ADP. And honestly, I was surprised by how well this was performing. Again, pretty much in every single race that I was in, we were at a rock solid 60. The only times that there would be a stutter was just because there was shader caching. And once that happened, that stutter never happened again. And I'm thoroughly impressed because this is about the worst Vega iGPU you could possibly have right now. And it's doing this well in Double Dash. Now, of course, I also loaded up Twilight Princess, an absolute classic and a favorite of mine within the Legend of Zelda franchise. And while playing through just the opening segment, the performance was pretty rock solid. We were pretty much at a locked 30 FPS most of the time. There would be the occasional stutter here and there, but once I got through that area, the stutter was pretty much gone. It seems to just be shader caching at no point was i ever getting any kind of stutter that was recreatable of course i also tried turning up the render resolution in this game and i went all the way up to 1080p and it seems like this impacted the performance a bit more i did notice more frequent stutters here and there but usually it was just in the transition areas into new places and once things loaded in it was back to a rock solid 30. So again, very, very impressed overall with the results that we're getting here. Because that means that we are now able to play these older titles at a much higher resolution than what they natively ran at. And again, we are on the worst possible Vega-based iGPU. So really, really impressive results here. And of course, after playing Twilight Princess for a while, I spent the rest of the day playing Wind Waker, another absolute classic and an absolute favorite of mine. And as you can see, we are running it at a rock solid 30 FPS and really throughout the entirety of the experience of me playing it, it was pretty much running perfectly. I actually ended up forgetting to actually turn up the render resolution to 1080p. I just left it at native and I kind of just got sucked into playing the actual game. But in general, I'm really impressed with Bado Sarah. It has been a actually insanely easy experience to set up emulators and just get going in terms of playing games. I currently don't have any PlayStation 2 ROMs. I'm in the middle currently of getting my hands on some of them so i will be playing some playstation 2 on here but at least up until the gamecube the emulation experience has been insanely good on this little mini pc and i was not expecting to get that result at all so color me impressed this little system actually managed to perform a lot better than i was expecting it to and it has me very excited to try out bato sarah on these other mini pcs because the emulation experience has been absolutely rock solid on it so i definitely recommend checking it out and if you're looking for an extremely cheap emulation system this boss game u32 is actually looking like a really great option because it undercuts everything on the market by a significant margin but i'll see you guys next time